much and welcome here to Duggan Park in Ballinasloe. It is the final round of action in the Ferry National Camogie Leagues of 2024. This is Division 1A and what a way to finish off the round robin series. League Champions Galway versus All-Ireland Champions Cork. A head-to-head that rarely disappoints. The two of it a great rivalry. Indeed, they met four times last year. Galway did win three of the games, including the Ferry National League final uh, in Crow Park. But it was Cork who won the All-Ireland semi-final and went on to pick up the O'Duffy Cup. There's plenty of permutations today. Both these two teams playing for a league final place. One of them, the winner, is guaranteed to go to Crow Park in two weeks' time. For the other, they'll have to sit, wait and see. And even though we'll be following Galway against Cork, keep an eye out. We'll be keeping an eye out ourselves on Waterford against Kilkenny and Tipperary against Clare. If Tipperary beat the banner, they will be going to Crow Park in that league final. But should they lose to their muster rivals, it could open up the door for the second team here are possibly Waterford or possibly Kilkenny but we'll focus on the action on the field of play these two teams never want to leave anything behind Galway if they win go for three league titles in a row Cork if they win pick up a second victory over their rivals in Maroon and White join us for live coverage here from 2 o'clock in Duggan Park Banlaslow and we'll be back in just a moment with the two starting teams And welcome back here up to the commentary box in Duggan Park, Ballinasloe. We are about eight minutes away from throw-in in this final round game of Division 1A in the Ferry National Camogie League, Galway against Cork. And as we mentioned there, the first meeting since last year's All-Ireland semi-final when Cork beat Galway by 15 points to 2-6. Interestingly enough, Cork haven't beaten Galway in the National Camogie League since 2018. And a cold January day at the Cork Camogie grounds, Cork were 13 points to 1-3 victors over Galway in the opening round of that league. For Galway, their last victory over Cork was in the uh, championship last year, the opening round of the All-Ireland Championship, beating Cork by 112 to 12 points. And of course, last year's league final in April, they beat Cork by 213 to 112. It is a game that will not disappoint. And with so many permutations, we'll be keeping an eye on all the games. But first, let's run through the two teams here. And we will start with the home team, Galway. So the Galway team line out has uh, announced during the week this is their 15 players. In goal number one is Fiona Ryan. Full back line of two, Rachel Hanavy. Three is the captain, Roisin Black. And four is Derva Higgins. The half back line where number five is Siobhan Gardner. Centre back number six is Anya Kane. And seven is Kira Hickey. In midfield where number eight is Ali Hesden. Part number number nine, Anne Marie Starr. The half forward line ten, Aoife Donoghue. Eleven, Ailish O'Reilly. And twelve is Neil McPeak. And in the inside line, top of the right, number 13, Carrie Dolan. Full forward, number 14, is Siobhan McGrath. And top of the left, where number 15, is Orla McGrath. And the goalie manager is Cahill Murray. So the Cork team, they have two changes from the side announced during the week and they line out as follows. In goal number one is Amy Lee. Full back line of two, Maeve Murphy. Three is Libby Cobbinger and four is Maeve Callan. The half back line were number five, Laura Hayes. Centre back number six is Laura Tracy and seven is Izzy O'Regan. In midfield were number eight is Saoirse McCarthy. Part number number nine, Aoife Healy. The half forward line ten, Orla Callan. Eleven is Fiona Keating and coming into the team at left wing four is number 23, Kleena Healy. That's Kleena Healy, number 23, replacing Hannah Looney. And the inside line, top of the right, number 13, Amy O'Connor. Full four, number four, 19, is Ashley Thompson. That's Ashley Thompson, 19, replacing Katrina Mackey. And top of the left, where number 15, is Saoirse McCartan. Expect a few positional switches in that Cork team. Their manager is Jarrett Manley. 
So the referee for today's game, I can tell you he was just doing a toss there. You might have caught him with the two captains and the two mascots. We'll just give a shout out to Avian and Sinead Burke. They are the two goalie mascots today. Maeve Callan is the on-field captain for Cork. Roisin Black, the goalie captain. It looked like, from our vantage point, that the goalie captain, Roisin Black, won the toss and opted to attack the goal to the right, which will be against the wind. It was a, was a glorious sunny day and a very, very welcome one in Ireland. There is still a strong breeze and it appears to be blowing right to left as you look at it on the screen. Now we'll double check before throwing if we are right with that but it looks like it might favour Cork in the first half. So you can just hear the stadium announcer, Christy Brown, there just giving instructions. We will have a Raw Naveen before throw-in. And we will also have a minute silence. And, of course, uh, sadly, uh, road accidents are making the news across the country. And we will have a minute silence for four people from the Galway area that tragically lost their lives during the week. Wien Sheridan and, of course, the Bowden family, Una, Kira, and Saoirse. Our thoughts and prayers, and no doubt being expressed by Cork people around the world as well as Galway people on the the sad losses of those are Yeshjiv, Her Anam Usul, may they rest in peace. So, of course, as we watch the two teams warm up for this game, and just to give you the league table, well, there's three teams and nine points in Division 1A. Galway are officially number one and a plus 13 scoring difference. Tipperary are plus 12 and nine points, and Cork plus 10. So, with Galway playing Cork, obviously, both of them can't get to 12 points. The winner of this game, though, will be guaranteed a place in the league final in Crow Park in two weeks' time. If Tipperary beat Clare, and we'll keep an eye on updates in that game over the course of this broadcast, they will go through to the league final as well, so people can speculate it's going to be Tipperary against the winners of this match. A draw will favour Galway. They have a better scoring difference. However, in saying all that, if Tipperary don't beat Clare, and while Clare are probably destined for Division 1B Camogie next year, they still would not be lying down to the blue and gold. We can be guaranteed that if they were to pull off the shock and beat Tipperary, then it could not just open the door for the team that doesn't win here today, but also for Waterford, who take on Kilkenny or even there is a permutations that could allow Kilkenny to make the league final or even though with two defeats so we'll work all that out and try and simplify that as best we can but now as you can hear Christy Brown in the background we are going to have that minute silence we offer our deepest condolences and we stand in a moment's silence.
nice crowd here in Duggan Park. You can see the far side of the field. Some people taking advantage of the good weather. It's the irresistible force meeting the immovable object. The two champions in currently in this country, Cork and Galway, but only one of them will be going to the National League final unless permutations open up a route for both teams. But a draw will have to happen there first in this particular game. That would not surprise us. There's never much between them. Three or four points when they play each other as the two teams line up and we're just uh, confirming the way it looks like actually Galway will be attacking the goal to the left in the first half so uh, we got that one completely wrong here in the commentary box but Galway will have the wind in the first half and you can see their players just working themselves into position we let you know about any positional switches of note that we have uh, as the game goes on but you can already see there with Cork you can see changes in personnel there going in for the middle Ashing Thompson as expected in the middle of the field partnered by Laura Hayes that's an interesting combo so is Ali Hesden and Anne-Marie Starr but Galway against Cork in round five of the Ferry National Camogie League of 2024 and we'll wait there now for the ball to be thrown in the ball is thrown in the game is on and it's Ali Hesden with possession for Galway wearing number eight the far side of the field trying to send the ball down in the direction of Aoife Dunahoo who's playing in the half forward line today she has often played in that position even if wearing the number eight jersey that attempted pass in doesn't come Izzy O'Regan with the ball Cork are lining up with 11 of the team that started in last year's All-Ireland final against Waterford they won that by 5-13 to 9 points long ball down and towards the attack for Saoirse McCartan couldn't pick it up the first time I've asked Orla Callan might have more luck. Orla Callan getting it inside. Turns around, needs support. Back to Sersha. She won an All-Ireland Intermediate with Down. An All-Ireland Senior with Cork. Gives it off to Kleena Healy. Rushing back, misses the attempted interception. Fiona Keating was there, but surrounded by four Galway jerseys. And Galway win the ball back, even if they're behind their own 45-meter line. Siobhan Gardner with the ball, but a bit blasé there. Kleena Healy with possession. But again, the space not being given. Orla Callan will go for the shot and that ball goes to the left and wide a chance to go away shouldn't have coughed up but good defending nonetheless to recover and make sure Cork were not given a decent chance to go for the score So this is Fiona Ryan's third start out of the five games for Galway. Doesn't guarantee her a championship jersey yet. They're very, very um, stacked with goalkeepers in Galway with Sarah Healy and All-Star on the bench. And of course, there's Laura Freeney as well, all fighting for jerseys, maybe in Crow Park in a couple of weeks' time if Galway can get through this game. Cork will have something to say about that, but Goey have possession as Orla McGrath tries to find Neve McPeak. Neve McPeak will go for the shot, and that doesn't happen for Neve. Again, the angles not great there, so one wide apiece here as we have played uh, just under two minutes of action in this game. Amy Lee restarting the action, sending the ball out towards the middle of the park. This is Laura Hayes. Laura Hayes plays it down. Cork moving down the lines very, very quickly. Good interception there from Derva Higgins. Getting in the way of Saoirse McCarthy. And the Galway number four has the advantage of a free. And it's going to go back for that. And he gives us a chance to have a look around. And it's in regards to the Cork team. It looks like that Saoirse McCarthy is playing full forward. Galway doesn't seem to be too many standout changes in personnel. But we still go through them all as we go along. So this is a free. As I mentioned, Galway beat Cork three times last year. Twice in the league and once in the championship. But their hopes of playing in an All-Ireland final were dashed by their monster rivals. Anya Keane was player of the match in their win against Waterford. Plays it down for Ailish O'Reilly. Ailish O'Reilly with a pass off for Neve McPeak. She'll have a second go. Izzy O'Regan did well there. Into the hands of Amy Lee. And Amy Lee will move it out to Ashley Thompson in the fluorescent green boots and the black and white helmet. Pass out the far side of the fields and Cork using the space on the left flank to create an attack. This is Saoirse McCarthy. Saoirse McCarthy sends it down. Orla Callan very busy in the early stages. We're number 10 for Cork. Trying to win an opportunity here. Has the ball. Can she get away from the defence? Again, going not making it easy, but it finds Laura Hayes. But good work there. Carrie Dolan getting a little touch. And that was enough for Ali Hesden to take the ball back to Carrie. Carrie goes to ground. No fouls is the referee. His name is Barry Nee from County Westmead. Carrie Dolan, long dropping ball down the other half of the field. And Galway just struggling to get the ball to the hand. And the Cork defence say thank you very much. And they'll move the ball out here right in front of us in the commentary box. Kleena Healy. And Kleena Healy 
Moving down the right. Only her second start of the campaign for Kina. She also one substitute appearance. Galway take back possession. And the referee says that the attempted clearance there by Anne-Marie Starr was a throw. So Cork are going to get a free in. Four minutes gone here in Balnasso. And this should be the opening score of the game. And the free is going to be taken by the Cork all Ireland winning captain last year, Amy O'Connor. Molly Lynch is the captain of Cork this year. But Amy O'Connor has scored 111 in the league so far, which isn't too bad when you take into account she's only started two games out of the four. So Amy O'Connor with the free. It's going to be very close to the left, and it has gone over the bar. So five minutes gone in the game. Cork are off the mark. It's Cork, one point. Galway, no score. So Fiona Ryan from the Ballandarian Club in Galway. Good long drive down the field. Scrambled in. Good battles. Alicia Riley with the ball. A good little turn there from the five-time All-Star. Goes forward, but again runs out of space. Dave Murphy to Ashton Thompson. Ashton Thompson to Aoife Healy. But again, the referee uh, says it's a throw. So it's going to be a rule that Barry Nee will be particularly focusing on in this match. And a chance for Carrie Dolan, who has scored 28 points in the league so far. And she has started all four of Galway's games. 22 of those from freeze, one from a 45. Can she get Galway back on level terms? Five and a half minutes gone. Both teams settled into the contest. There's a hold up and play there. I'm not too sure what the referee saw. I think it's uh, Ashin Thompson as the, uh, the player with the helmet off, in a way. So I'm not exactly sure what happened. But it is, Ash it is Ashin Thompson with the helmet off, it looks. And looks in a bit of distress. We keep an eye on the cork bench. A couple of players are just doing their job, but that could be the routine one as well. So she is putting the helmet back on. Fit to continue, but a bit of concern there for Cork. She's been flying form for them this year. As Carrie Dolan takes the free, the umpires look at it, they like it, the ball has gone over the bar, nearly seven minutes gone in the game, and it's two frees, one each, penalising two throws, two number 13s with the points, and it's Galway, one point, Cork, one point. So Galway are going to get another free just inside the 65 metre line. Their manager, Cahill Murray, has used 27 players over the four games so far. Chair Manley, the new Cork boss, has used 28. And this is a free inside the 65. On a day like today, and after getting the first place ball, Carrie Dolan looking for her 30th point of the league. Again, the Duggan Park goes quite for the free taker. Will it carry all the way? It might just drop a bit short. And it might fall for Siobhan McGrath. But good defending there from Cork to get the ball out. And it's out for Ashley Thompson. Ashley Thompson inside the 45 metre line. Back to her best. Back pedaling past the 45 metre line. Tries to pick the pass off there, but not to be. Will have a second go and sends the ball out towards the right. It's out past the Israel Regan, didn't work out. Knee back peak, battling there for possession. Doing very, very well, but just stepped out over the line. So it's going to be a sideline cut for Cork, and it's going to be taken by Laura Hayes. Laura Hayes, always more comfortable in the full in the half back line, but is playing cornerback left is all out in final. But you can see Galway closing down the space. You have to admire the, the defending exploits of both teams at the moment 
They're closing down the space, making it difficult for attackers. That's where he started to Ailish O'Reilly. Ailish O'Reilly out towards the left. Out to Carrie Dolan. Carrie Dolan skips inside three players. And a foul was committed in the process for the chop. Carrie Dolan wins the free. And it's going to be a free for Galway now inside the 45-meter line. And a chance for the home side to go in front for the first time in this game. Galway have made three changes. From the team that beat Waterford by a point last week with Kira Hickey, Ali Heslin and Orla McGrath coming into the starting lineup. Cork with a few changes as well. A couple of late ones there too. Maeve Callan and Saoirse McCartan. Two of those coming in, Ashleen Thompson and Cleena Healy, the late changes, but this is Carrie Dolan. Will this be her 30th point? of the 2024 National Camogie League. Nine and a half minutes gone. Carrie Dolan with the shot. Will it stay on target? And it has gone over the bar. Galway go in front. Carrie Dolan reaches the magic number 30. And it's two points to one to the maroon and white. A cork over the short puck out. Laura Tracy. Getting out the field. Great to see her back in the cork colours. After being hampered by injury, but Galway have possession. Ailish O'Reilly wears number 11 up against Laura Tracy. That's a ju- tussle worth paying the money in to see alone. Ailish O'Reilly with a dropping ball in there. Inicio Regan. And a foul committed, says the referee, for a push on Aoife Donahue. So Galway going to get a chance to go two in front. I was just going to say, Izzy O'Regan has really been standing out in the early stages for Cork. But the referee spots the foul. And a chance for Carrie Dolan to get her third of the afternoon. Galway will want to build up an advantage. They did lead at half time against Waterford last week. There was a strong win. That game was played in Loch Ray. But they let Waterford back into the game. Carrie Dolan takes the free. The ball goes over the bar. 11 minutes gone. And it's Galway three points. Cork one. So this uh, hold up and play there to check for a change of hurl. We'll have a look around the grounds in a second to see if we can give any latest updates of what's happening in the other games. As Amy Lee takes the short puck out. Out the far side of the V, that's Laura Hayes. Laura Hayes down for Ashley Thompson. Ashley Thompson driving the ball down towards the attack. Again, the going defence, Kira Hickey with the first touch there. And the ball is overturned again. Galway been doing that regularly now in the last couple of minutes. With Nee McPeak involved in the action, this is Nee McPeak again. Tries to go a bit forward, but goes down there by Laura Tracy. And now a chance here for Cork. Orla Callan. Down towards the attack, Saoirse McCartan. Up against Roisin Black. Just couldn't get the required touch in the ball. It looks like the referee, Barry Nee, is going to throw this in. So it's going to be a throw-in ball, actually, between Roisin Black and Saoirse McCartan. The referee still not happy. So, t- will the second goal be productive? It is, because Derva Higgins clears the ball out the field. Laura Tracy there again on her own 45-meter line, trying to find a way past Carrie Dolan and Eva Dunno does enough to win the foul. For the contact. So it'll be a free out for Cork as they look to get their second score. But again, a player on the ground. So we're going to have another hold up. Gives me a chance to look. No update from Clare and Tipperary yet. But I can tell you that Kilkenny lead Waterford by three points to two. That's 14 minutes gone in that game. So it's a player down the far side of the field. So it's just going to hold things up. Cork getting that opening score for Amy O'Connor after Galway gu- guilty of giving away a free throw, but just haven't got fully motoring yet. Galway doing most of the Kabogi in the opening stages. Have the three scores. Interestingly enough, we haven't had one from play yet, but that's as much a compliment to the defenders. 
Cork doing a few drills in the field to play to keep themselves warm. It is a warm day, but a bit of a breeze nonetheless. They can be cut in. I think it was Laura Tracy, the player that was down. But she's okay and fit to continue. Laura Tracy made her debut for Cork back in 2012. On the far side of the field here now, moving towards the 45 metre line. Good move here for Cork, good move here by Aoife Healy. Player of the match in the opening round win against Kilkenny. But the referee's blown the whistle again and this is not looking good for Cork. Looks like Laura Tracy's down again. And I'd say Joe Manley and his management team will be expressing a bit of concern here. They've had a few players down in the early stages, only approaching the quarter hour. Now, occasion actually it wasn't Laura Tracy, my apologies, I think it's Saoirse McCarthy. Laura Tracy is walking okay at the 45 metre line, so sorry for causing any major concern for our viewers in Cork or any Corkonians around the world. Hope you're enjoying this game of the Kabogi Association YouTube channel brought to you in association with entry. 15 minutes gone in the opening half of the game. Galway in front by three points to one, a contest that hasn't fully caught fire yet. But a long way to go and a lot at stake. One of these teams will be going to Crow Park. That's the only thing we can say for certain. Play restart with a sideline cut the far side of the field. Sersha McCartan takes it. Sends it. Just overcooked there a bit for Orla Callan. Can Kleena Healy get in that? Not says Kira Hickey. Kira Hickey holding the ball but she's been robbed again. And has been good, good robs from both teams it has to be said. Izzy O'Regan to Ashley Thompson. Ashley Thompson outside the 45 meter line. Pass forward for Aoife Healy. Aoife Healy for the first score from playing the match. Not to be, says the umpire. The ball goes to the left and wide. Two wides in this game for Cork. And that's the same number of points that they trail this match by. Long ball down the field there. Ali Heslin going in there to take on Ashley Thompson. Does well. Finds the pass back to Siobhan Gardner. Siobhan Gardner with a long ball down towards Siobhan McGrath. These are the type of balls the Sarsfield's full forward likes. Siobhan McGrath has possession. Has support coming. This is Ayla Shawiley. Ayla Shawiley trying to turn inside. Known for scoring goals. Just can't find a way in. The referee says she took too many steps. The decision going against the Old Murray player. And Cork will have the free out. And they'll be happy enough with that, you will feel, because Hale Shirley, when she gets close to the goal, she can smell it. Might be doing more work as the provider these days, but still lethal. Cork, though, won't panic. Amy Lee, the first ever player from the Piercing to win a Camogie All-Star. That was last year. Knocked forward by Saoirse McCarthy. Siobhan Gardner scored a super goal for Galway against Tipperary in round two. Hale Shirley. The referee says the arms are around her. Laura Tracy, not happy with the decision. And Carrie Dolan will have the chance to try and put three points between them. These two teams will, are guaranteed to meet again at least once. They are in the same group in the Glen Dimplex All-Ireland Senior Camogie Championship coming up at the end of May. Carrie Dolan getting ready to take the free. 18 minutes gone. The umpires like it. The ball has gone over the bar. It's another score at the place ball, but it's working for Galway at the moment. All four for Kerry Dolan. And it's Galway four points. Cork one. Maeve Callan with the ball. Her sister Gronya made her first league start last week in the game against Clare. Der Higgins didn't get touching the ball. Eva Dunhu for Galway. They hurt. You can hear the collision from here. And the referee might be having a chat with someone. And the Fiona Keating is calling over to say hello to. Nothing malicious in it, of course. It's just the commitment of both teams. Wanting to go for the ball. And sometimes, under the Kabogi rules, that'll go against you. 
So Fiona Keating gets the first yellow card of the game. Anya Kane. Member of the University of Limerick team that won this year's Ashburn Cup. Takes the free inside her own 65 meter line. Ailish O'Reilly goes to ground. Good work by Ashley Thompson and Searsha McCarthy with the ball raiding down the left flank. And look at the speed of Searsha McCarthy. Searsha McCarthy goes towards the 45 meter line, passes forward for Searsha McCarthy. Searsha McCarthy is run by three players. The referee spotted a high hand going in. So it's going to be a free in for Cork and one that they'll be relieved to have because Amy O'Connor will fancy putting this over the bar. You would feel it's 15 minutes since they got their opening score. As I mentioned, Amy O'Connor didn't start the first two games this year for Cork. Came off the bench in both of them. Can she bring this back to a two-point ball game? Amy O'Connor with the free. Oh, came down there and that was very, very dangerous. I'm not too sure if it was the stick of the goalkeeper or the crossbar to stop that. But the free didn't go over the bar. Probably a sign of the breeze here. It's swirling a little bit at the moment. But Cork will be disappointed not to take that opportunity. And now, who's going to respond here? The ball scrambling in the box. Amory started there for Galway. But this is Ali Heston. Another possession for her. Gives the pass off for Kira Hickey. Kira Hickey sending it down very, very quickly for the Galway attack. Eva Healy is back there as well. She plays with the Ahada Club. Saoirse McCarthy from Corsi Rovers. Laura Tracy for Killa. But Corgan and Blasé there and Galway just getting the stick in. And the referee saying that was the player lying in the ball. Or holding it down either way. It's a free out. Few groans there from respective supporters for decisions against their teams. We're inside the final ten minutes of the first half. You would feel we'll have a few minutes extra at half time. So Amy Lee to take this. Cork started off the campaign with a 117 to 116 win over Kilkenny. Then beat Waterford 16 to 6 points. They won the defeat in round three against Tipperary. They lost that 210 to 110, but got back in track last week with a 115 to 16 win over Clare. Searsha McCarthy lays the ball off. This is good from Cork. This is good from Laura Hayes. Good block down and Anne Marie Starr jumping in the way to get the ball. Hard to believe she was an All Star nominee all the way back in 2011 and still has it. Ashley Thompson moving forward for Cork to Saoirse McCarthy. It was like one from the training ground. Saoirse McCarthy will go for a shot at the post. That's going to drop. And Cork have a chance here if Amy O'Connor can get in this. And it goes out of a goalie boot. So it's going to be a 45. But Amy O'Connor there. Rachel Hanavy just covered that enough. Cork will get the chance of the 45, but Amy O'Connor, a player you don't want to leave in a one-on-one -on -one situation. 3-7 she scored in last year's All-Ireland final against Waterford. One thing about Amy O'Connor, she recently uh, was part of a fireside chat for a St. Vincent's fundraiser in the Cork Opera House back on St. Patrick's Night. A wonderful ambassador for Camogie. They had a big celebration night for her in St. Vincent's when she became the first summer club to win an All-Star a few years ago. You can imagine what the party was like when she captained them to the All-Ireland. They won't be celebrating that because Cork have hit their third wide. The radar just not on at the moment now, as I mentioned as well. Cork are against a very, very strong swirling wind. So the opportunities are much harder than they look. Can we restart the action? That's one by Kleena Healy. Kleena Healy down the right. This is a good opportunity for Orla Callan. Orla Callan sends the ball inside. Cork looking for the second score of the game with the going defence. Staying very, very tight. There's going to be a throw-in ball. A few supporters there calling for tugs on both sides. But we're going to have this on the 20-meter line, you would feel. Six and a half minutes to half time. Referee waiting for two players to go in. Sergio McCartan is one of them. Kira Hickey looks like the other. 
And again, you can see, even if this game isn't quite at the full well, the referee says a free out for Galway. But I was just going to say there, even if the game isn't at full pelt, like we get used to with Galway and Cork, it's not lacking in intensity and determination to win the ball. The Galway player on the ground, so we're just going to have a hold up. Neither manager will be happy, it would feel. Are the three points enough for Galway as it stands? Cork have left a few good scoring chances behind them. Three wides, and probably one or two others as well. Roisin Black, the captain of Galway this year, and a 2023 All Star, is back on her feet, getting back into position. And we're going to have the free out from Fiona Ryan. Won a personal cup with Galway, or with University of Galway this year. And did nearly injure this commentator in the warm-up beforehand. Such was the uh, her ability to hit pinpoint passes towards the line. We had a good laugh about it afterwards. Jennifer Higgins wins the ball. Tries to play it up the field, but Fiona Keating gets in the way for Cork. And Fiona Keating wins the free. Referee says the arms are around the Cork number 11. Another opportunity. I was going to say Amy O'Connor, but Saoirse McCarthy might take this one. So a free for Cork inside the 65-year line. This is one that might drop down towards the house. Long ball down by Saoirse McCarthy. Will it stay in play? Roisin Black was taking no chances. Amy O'Connor having a good tussle there with Rachel Hannafy. Galway get it out towards the D, towards Anya Kane. Anya Kane with a long ball down there, a bit of space. It goes away from Morla McGrath. And Laura Tracy will be the first to this. And Laura Tracy to centre back to Ashin Thompson. Ashin Thompson looks up for options, drives the ball down the field. But it's Derva Higgins from Matt and Rye that gets in the way. And Derva's going to send it right back. Looked like we're going to have a bit of tennis between the two. Carrie Dolan says, no, she's not in the mood for tennis today. Now she finds Orla McGrath. Orla McGrath with the ball, looking to get away from Mashin Thompson, gives the pass to Ayla Shirali. Ayla Shirali inside the 45 metre line, looking for options. Aoife Donahue was there, but Aoife Healy, in the number nine for Cork, gets in the way. And Ashin Thompson finds a player in space, and that's Saoirse McCarthy. And Saoirse McCarthy skips between the two. 65 metre lines, sends it down in towards the attack. And again, Jervis Higgins coming in there, but it's Saoirse McCarthy that has the ball. Saoirse McCarthy with a pass inside. Amy O'Connor. Amy O'Connor tried to find a bit of space not to be. Gives it back to Fiona Keating. And Fiona Keating puts the ball over the bar. 27 minutes it has taken to get the first score from play in this match. It has come for Cork. It has come from Fiona Keating. It's a two-point ball game. It's Cork two points. Galway four. So, rushing back just time or late, sir. So we'll restart the action. Just over three minutes to half time. Well worked score from Cork. Again, it starts with a turnover one side of the field. Kira Hickey just got too much purchase on the contact. And the ball goes out over the line. And it's going to be a sideline ball for the Munster side. Izzy O'Regan didn't get the touch in that as she wanted. Siobhan McGrath nearly got in the way. But Cork deal with it. Good play from Laura Tracy and from Maeve Murphy. This now is Izzy O'Regan. Long the ground for Yoni Keating. Doesn't work out for her, but it might work out for Saoirse McCartan. Turns to the left hand side. Saoirse McCartan going for the shot. And it's gone over the bar. And two in a row for Cork. Saoirse McCartan with that one. Fiona Keating involved in the move. And all of a sudden it's a one point ball game. It's Galway four points, Cork three. As we mentioned, a low score and a high score, a little between them. Galway will be disappointed how that has worked out. We can tell you the latest score, uh, Waterford seven points, Kilkenny five. That's the latest score in that game. We'll give you a latest score from Clare and Tipperary when we have it. So Orla Cahillan sending the ball into space. One back by Galway, Aoife Donoghue back to the law defending. And wins the free. So 
So it's going to be taken by Anya Kane, and we have a lay score now. It's uh, Tipperary four points, Clare two. That's the lay score in that game. So as things stand, we'll be having a Galway Tipperary National Camogie League final, but a long way to go. Anya Kane doesn't know what to do. Hits it along the ground. Just didn't get the contact, but. Had a look around, was given time. Ali Heston back to Anya from St. Thomas. Has sending the ball down in towards the attack, towards Siobhan McGrath. Siobhan McGrath with the ball, surrounded by two players. He's always a player that will be marked or double marked if need be. Cork overturned the ball, Saoirse McCarthy, and Saoirse McCarthy on the move again. Holds off the three players. Referee spotted a foul on her way, so it's going to be a free out. Like the final 30 seconds of the first half we'll keep an eye on anyone of three added minutes so three added minutes at the end of the first half and they come up towards the 30 a bit of a uh, confusion who's going to take this Amy Lee is going to come out and take the free so there's a confirmation there so that's what we expected Amy Lee getting ready to take the free. Can Cork get back in level terms before the break? Can Galway get a point or two? Cork will have that win in the second half. It doesn't guarantee anything. But it definitely helps. Neil McPeak taking the pass with Jordan Higgins. Again, sometimes the pass is just not working out. Ashley Thompson cut down by Neil McPeak again. Neil McPeak sending it down in towards the attack. The two vice captains for Galway were 13 and 14. But you can see... And it's on both sides to defending very, very tight in this game. Have the ball, Orla McGrath. Goes to the ground, but she managed to offload it to Lee McPeak. Lee McPeak to Carry Dolan. Carry Dolan. Tall about the shot the first time. Goes for the shot the second time. She hasn't scored from play yet. She has now. Carry Dolan puts the ball over the bar for Galway. One minute of injury time has been played. And it's two points between them. Galway five points, Cork three. Cork with the short puck out. Laura Tracy, Laura Tracy to Ashley Thompson. Orla McGrath. Lee McPeak. Lee McPeak in the 45 meter line. Good ball across to Eva Donahue. And again, the first touch getting away. The second touch might work out better. Libby Cobbage, you know, won't be making it easy. Libby Cobbage plays a bit of football too on occasions. Doesn't need a hurl. If she was allowed to, she'd solo that ball and bounce it out the field. Real grinding here from both teams. Call, we have the ball back. Ailish O'Reilly in there. Referee says the arms are around her. So it's going to be a free in for Galway. And a chance to build their tally. Difficult enough angle. The wind is behind her back. It's the final minute of play in the first half. I'd imagine we'll have one more passage before we go for the cup of tea. Can carry Dolan get her sixth of the day? So she takes the free. A difficult angle by Carrie Dolan. <laughs> Says, I'll show you a difficult angle. She puts the ball over the bar the 33rd minute. And it's three points between them. It's Galway six points, Cork three. The Cork of response before the break. Orla McGrath with the ball, getting more involved in the play. Moves down the field, gives it to Ali Heston. Ali Heston to Ailish O'Reilly. Ailish O'Reilly outside the 45 meter line. And the referee, Barry Nee from County Westmead, blows the half-time whistle, and it's Galway who lead by three. Well, it was a game where defences left very little space for attackers to express themselves, and freeze were the order of the day. Two throws conceded, two frees at the start, as Amy O'Connor and Carrie Dolan got off the mark. But then Galway got in troll in the middle third, with Carrie Dolan and three more place balls to make it four points to one. Cork's best spell came just before half-time, as Fiona Keating and Sergio McCarthy 
Martin found the target from play but Carrie Dolan with two more going points won a different play gives the home side a three point advantage at half time Galway six points Cork three we'll be back in about five to ten minutes time with live coverage here on the Camogie Association YouTube page in association with entry of the second half of this round five game in Division 1A of the Ferry National Camogie League with a half time score Galway have the lead Cork have the win in the second half it's Galway six points Cork three
Good afternoon, thank you very much and welcome back here to Duggan Park in Ballinasloe as we get ready for the start of the second half of this Round 5 game in the Ferry National Camogie League. Galway 6 points, Cork 3. Uh, we go through the scores in a moment just to give you the updates in the other games. Well, it's Tipperary 2-8, Clare 3 points. That's a half-time score, so I think it's safe to say that Tipperary are going to a National Camogie League final for the first time in 15 years. They had actually beaten Galway 4 years ago to qualify for the league final, but unfortunately for them that game took place before the COVID-19 lockdown and that National League final never took place it would have been against Cork and Cork do have the win in the second half of this game just for uh, to tell you as well Kenny lead Waterford by 1-5 to 7 points that's a half time score in that game we'll keep an eye on those as we go on Cork are on the field for the second half we're just having a look around there haven't noticed any changes so far but we'll have a double check in a second there are three scores in this game Amy O'Connor with a free Fiona Keating and Saoirse McCartan all from play and no uh, we haven't called we have not come out yet a big 30 minutes for them all six of the Galway scores coming from Carrie Dolan five of them from freeze one of them from play gives them the three point advantage but the general talk at half time is is that enough for Galway or have Cork left a few chances behind one goal for either team will be massive as cliche as that sounds but in a low-scoring contest where we've had three scores in play in total between the two teams, uh, one, that's one-third of the scoring as Cork get ready to start the second half as do Galway who are out in the field of play. You'd imagine strong words were said by both management teams, but who had the desired effect to get the points here and book what looks almost certain now to be a league final against Tipperary? We will see as we go along. And just to explain that, Tipperary, as things stand, Tipperary and Galway would be on 12 points. Where Cork, Kilkenny and Waterford will all be on 9. And Cork or Waterford will be on 6, actually. Kilkenny and Waterford will be on 6 and Cork will be on 9. Anyway, we'll worry about that as we go along. Let's go back with the action. Barry Nee is the referee. The ball is thrown in. The second half is underway. And will it be Galway or will it be Cork going to Crow Park? Almost certain now. There's only one ticket at the door for these teams. And who is going to take it? Cork have the ball. They want a good, strong start to the second half. Eva Healy with a good, strong touch there. Just couldn't get the ball into the hand. Sends it down towards Saoirse McCartan. Breaks out there, Kleena Healy trying to get on this, Galway getting their defenders in the way, have done very very well, in possession and the pass comes out to Aoife Dunhu has spent a lot of time inside her own defence in this game, comes out the field, two hands to call her in Mullia and in Galway, does enough to get the ball to Anne-Marie Starr but a bat down there by Laura Hayes Laura Hayes to Fiona Keating Fiona Keating outside the 45 metre line Ball into space. Anya Keane will come out to meet this. But nobody there from Galway for this ball. Will it stay in play? No, it will not. And Izzy O'Regan will restart the action. Low ball. Chance for a shot from distance. Sergeant McCartan, the player that sends it down. Amy O'Connor is in enemy territory. Trying to get away from Rachel Hanvey. The advantage has been given. Player is there. Cork are not done yet. They're going to go for the score. The referee allowed the advantage. The ball has gone over the bar. The first score of the second half. It comes from Kleena Healy. And in two minutes gone. And it's Cork four points. Galway six. A clearance from Galway into no man's land. Came back to bite them. Two point ball game. Fiona Ryan, long ball down. Eva Healy, give her a touch. Is the O'Regan? Just didn't get the ball up. Needs some support. Eva Healy hung around. Gives it back. Maeve Callan. The referee says there was too many steps by Laura Tracy. So it's going to be a free for Galway and a perfect chance for the home team. To respond. So Carrie Dolan will take this. Oh, 55 yards out. She's not happy that Ashton Thompson is back enough. So 
looking for a seven point this will be our 35th point in the league if it goes over Carrie Dolan Galway's top scorer in this game with the free it looks good you heard well done Carrie in the background that's because Carrie Dolan puts the ball over the bar three minutes into the second half her seventh of the afternoon and it's Galway seven points Cork four well in the day that the fences are standing up Carrie Dolan is standing up as well the only one she's missed are long range ones really So the ball has gone out over the line. It's going to be a Galway restart. Jeremy Higgins, another player that's been catching the eye for many of the pundits here at, during the first half. Ailish O'Reilly as well has assisted in two scores. Has the ball again. Has won the free. Will they need it? Carry Dolan back to Ailish. Ailish O'Reilly out on the right with the ball coming. That looks good. And Ailish O'Reilly puts the ball over the bar. A well orchestrated score between herself and Carry Dolan. And it's double scores. There's four between them. It's Galway, eight points. It's Cork, four. And even though Galway are against the wind, they have stretched their half time advantage. Anya Keane sends the ball on the left. Ailish O'Reilly. Goes the ground. No foul there from the challenge from Maeve Murphy. Cork with possession. Inside the 45 meter line. Ball taken back. Ashing Thompson there but hasn't cleared it away. And it's got herself ice. Did a good work. I think it was with Morla McGrath. And Cork are just in a bit sixes and sevens. And it's back to Amy Lee and Cork should never let the ball get back there. And they're just making a few mistakes. Even when Galway were joined their purple patch in the first half, Cork, part of their shooting, weren't making this many mistakes. But now they are back in track. Laura Tracy with a long ball down. This might work out on the overlap here. The foul committed. Orla Callan trying to go through. But what's been held, so it's going to be a free in. And even now for the visitors, they'll be happy just to put this over the bar. Referee going to have a chat. So Derva Higgins gets the yellow card. The referee gets a cheer. We'll focus on the action. Amy O'Connor. Well, it was in her range. And one she wants to make sure goes over. She'll have missed a couple in the first half that she wouldn't have been happy about herself. Amy O'Connor with the free. The up part goes for the white flag. The ball has gone over the bar. Six minutes gone in the second half. It's back to a three-point ball game. It's Cork, five points. Galway, eight. Oh, there was a collision there. It's going to be a free out. I think Saoirse McCarthy is going in. The referee is judging that she led with the shoulder. So rushing back to players is down. They're having a serious conversation. Yellow card for Saoirse McCarthy. Admittedly for players, it's very hard to judge those challenges. But when you lead the shoulder into the front, you're asking for trouble. Rushing Black is back on our feet. Anya Keane will take the free. She was on the Electric Ireland third level team of the year this year was Anya. Important touch there by Ashley Thompson. Just enough to win the ball back. Gives it across. Cork is playing a bit dangerous at the moment. Laura Tracy holds on to a well. Kira Hickey nearly stole in there. Kleena Healy covered it well. Izzy O'Regan there to help out. And Izzy has the ball. The Cork number seven. She was fouled in the process. Play continues on. Kleena Healy moving up the field. Orla Callan just slipped at the wrong time. As she tried to find space, Derva Higgins keeping very, very tight to her. Gives it back to Fiona Keating. Fiona Keating along the ground. Kira Hickey wins it back. She's doing well for Galway in this game. Out towards Aoife Donoghue. Aoife Donoghue holds off Aoife Healy. The two Aoife's. And Saoirse McCarthy there. With this time, the decision goes Cork's way. So a chance here now for Cork to bring this back to a two-point ball game. Saoirse McCarthy. She 
She's really getting up to the pace of the game. Takes it, hoping that the wind will bring it back in. Not to be. And that goes wide for Cork. Four wides in this game for Cork. I don't think we've an official wide for Galway yet. With one ball that dropped, but without... Play restarts. Cork will look to miss opportunities if they don't win this game. Fiona Ryan restarts the action, but this is Orla Callan. Orla Callan down to Saoirse McCartan. Saoirse McCartan turns inside. This is what the former down player wanted. High challenge. It's going to be a free in for Cork. Sometimes it was a necessary one. But a real battle there between Saoirse McCartan and Roisin Black in this game. Amy O'Connor getting ready to win this. Saoirse McCartan last year became the first player originally from Ulster to win an All-Ireland Senior Camogie Championship in 44 years. Formerly of Down, she won an intermediate with them in 2020. Won a senior with Cork last year. Her father, Gregory McCartan, would have won an All-Ireland Senior Football Championship with Down. Amy O'Connor with the free. That ball goes over the bar. And our Cork getting into their stride now in the ninth minute of the second half. Six points to Cork, eight to Galway. And Fiona Ryan will get us going again. This time going long down the fields. Ailish O'Reilly has gotten the ball surrounded by two players. Referee says too many steps. The Galway supporters not happy about that. Cork won't mind. Maeve Callan looks like she's going to take it. Indeed she's not. She's leaving it for Laura Tracy. Laura Tracy out the left to Laura Hayes. Laura Hayes sends a dangerous ball inside. This might work out. And I think it was a poor touch from Rachel Hannafy there because Saoirse McCartan was trying to play the ball down for Amy O'Connor. And I think Rachel Hannafy just got the little touch that took it away from the Cork attackers. There she is at the moment with the ball, but she's on her own. Support has arrived. And Galway bringing out the field. Kira Hickey lays the ball off. This is good. Anya Keane to Siobhan Gardner. And Siobhan Gardner sending it down the field looking for Siobhan McGrath. But again, Cork played a numbers game. They beat Coventry in possession. Back to the goalkeeper, Amy Lee. Amy Lee out in the left is Laura Hayes. And Laura Hayes to Aoife Healy. Cork starting to use the will of the field here in Banlaslow. They haven't been going in the league in six years. But Amory Starr says no. Gives it to Aoife Dunahoo. Aoife Dunahoo with the ball for Galway. Inside the 45 meter line. Aoife Dunahoo puts the ball over the bar. And as our first one play in this game in the 41st minute. Amory Starr winning the ball back. Galway lead by 9 points to 6. The pace gradually picking up. It's simmering. Need back peak. On the 65 meter line. Send the ball down as Aoife Dunahoo about to take control of this game. No, says Aoife Healy. Gives the pass back to Saoirse McCarthy. Oh, it was Maeve Callan, sorry. Took the challenge of Aoife Dunahoo, found the teammates, and Cork moved up. This is Saoirse McCarthy. Saoirse McCarthy on the left there, and the challenges are going in. Left, right, and centre. This is going to be a Cork ball. Carrie Dolan with the touch. And we've waited a while, but a bit of bite in this game is coming. Aoife Healy goes to the ground. Cork players expressing their displeasure. Aoife Healy represented UCC in uh, the Ashburn Cup this year. Even though her team were beaten by UL in the semi-final, she, her performance was still good enough to be player of the match and make the Electric Ireland team of the year. She was paired the match in Cork's victory against Kilkenny in round one. And the supporters there, especially the Galway supporters. Give a shout out to Shane Murphy as well, dressed in his Cork gear. He's here cheering on Cork today. Ashin Thompson to restart the action. Low ball, but Neve McPeak gets in the way. And Aoife Donahue with the ball. And Aoife Donahue sends it down, but Libby Cobbinger was our quickest. 
Dave Murphy is there in support. Oh, there's a bat there by Ada Shawali. Ada Shawali can't she pick it up? Just couldn't get down. Dave Murphy not making it easy. And it's Ashing Thompson to the rescue for Cork. But Cork, as I said in the run, playing very, very dangerously with the ball in the full back line. Laura Hayes goes to the ground. Siobhan Gardner with the football skills down towards Orla McGrath. Orla McGrath out on the left hand side of the field. Bit of space opening up here for Galway. Orla McGrath with the shot. And Orla McGrath puts the ball over the bar. Galway do get a point. Go four in front. It could have been more. When Ava Shirelli got an opportunity, Maeve Murphy got back quickly. But there, Siobhan Garner kicking the ball towards the corner. Orla McGrath puts it over the bar. And Galway lead this game by 10 points to six. Out the far side of the field. Maeve Callan. Cork again just making a lot of mistakes in this half. And you wonder when their management will make a change. Izzy O'Regan down the field. But that gets away. And Galway will restart the action. Derva Higgins to get us up and running plays the ball down towards the middle of the field but Izzy O'Regan wins the ball back finds a teammate that's Laura Hayes this is Orla Callan Orla Callan on the move again Cork appears inside the Saoirse McCartan chance here for Cork a shot and saves into the is he in? No oh, saves into the line by Fiona Ryan well we'll have to have a look at that again because it looked like almost certain it was a, going to be a goal. And here we are now. Orla Callan with the layoff there for Saoirse McCartan. She takes the shot. And Fiona Ryan with the stop. And just got something going over the line. And it goes out for a 45. What an important save that will be. But Cork have a chance to bring this back to one puck of the ball. Amy O'Connor are going to take this. We're approaching the three-quarter mark. This Division 1A of the Ferry National Camogie League, the final round. One of these teams are going to the final. Cork have to win it. A draw will do for Galway. Amy O'Connor getting ready to take this 45. On the 45th minute. And the ball has gone wide. Five wides to Cork. Their shooting efficiency has not gone according to plan. I was talking about changes. Well, Cork are making one. Emma Murphy will be on the field to play shortly. Emma has made three appearances this year so far. Indeed, a change has been made. Emma Murphy on for Kleena Healy. And Emma Murphy has scored two points in the campaign. One start, two substitute appearances. This being her third. Referee spotted a foul beforehand as Colby were clearing it. So we're going back for that. We'll have a check on the latest scores at the moment. It was all looking academic because Tipperary were well up and clear. So we'll check those in a second now when they come into us. And Kilkenny have scored a second goal against Waterford. They lead by two, eight to nine points. Orla McGrath. Ailish O'Reilly out on the right and that's the first point of the game for Galway so Amy Levy starts the action for Ashley Thompson inside the 45 meter line passes down for Izzy O'Regan Izzy O'Regan with a cross field ball Amy O'Connor Amy O'Connor trying to find a way inside Garantine back into the match. Amy O'Connor puts the ball over the bar. The freeze aren't happening for her, but she gets that important score from play. 47 minutes gone, and it's back to three points again. T seven points to Cork, ten points to Galway. So Fiona Ryan drives the ball down the field. A Galway player comes in to get a touch and knee back peak will play it down trying to get it in towards Siobhan McGrath Siobhan McGrath has won the ball this time getting away she's won the free they go back for the advantage it's been a right tough tussle between Libby Coppinger and Siobhan McGrath and Carrie Dolan 
Galway are hitting the responses every time Cork get a big score. So Carrie Dolan out on the left. Forty eight minutes gone. Harry Dolan with the free. The ball has gone over the bar. Another big score for Galway. Another big score for Carry Dolan. 11-7. Four points between them. Ball out to Libby Cobbinger. Libby Cobbinger to Maeve Callan. Maeve Callan to Laura Tracy. A late challenge there, says the referee. The Galway player feeling the worst of it as well. Now here's Carrie Dolan. She scored six points against Cork in the All-Ireland Final in 2021. A niece of the legendary Trace Maher, but also Carrie's mother, Imelda. As a member of the Galway team that won the National Camogie League back in 1994. Their first ever league win. They're celebrating the 30th anniversary of that this year. It's going to be a blood sub, so... Looks like Harry will be going off for a few minutes. Galway going for their eighth league title in three in a row. They'd never ret successfully retained the league until last year. So we'll see who's coming on for Galway at the moment. But this is a big blow. And there's a big name potentially coming on for Galway. And I'll say nothing for a moment. But Galway supporters around the world, you could be hearing one of the loudest applauses in just a moment or two. We'll watch the action. As Laura Hayes sends the ball down towards Orla Callan. Orla Callan with the ball. Looking for a player. And it's Amy O'Connor. Amy O'Connor with the ball. Back to Aoife Healy. Aoife Healy with the shot. Aoife Healy puts the ball over the bar. And uh, we'll mark the score there first. And on 50 minutes, it's Aoife Healy. But you can hear the round of applause. And I'll tell you why, and Galway fans will be celebrating, because the legend that is Neve Kilkenny has made her return to the Galway team for the first time since an All-Ireland semi-final defeat in 2022. She's on just as a blood sub at the moment, a cameo appearance, but you heard the cheer there from the Galway fans. Neve Kilkenny wearing number 33 on the field of play. Hopefully for Carrie Dolan, she'll be okay to continue. She looks in a bit of distress at the moment, but we'll follow the action on the field of play. Aoife Healy's point there for Cork has brought her back to a three-point ball game. Let's look at the action. Ball comes down into no man's land. Laura Hayes, but she hesitated for a moment. And there is Neve Kilkenny. Neve Kilkenny with her first touch. Uh, cut out by Aoife Healy. Aoife Healy back to Laura Tracy. And Laura Tracy with the ball into space and towards Fiona Keating. Fiona Keating with the ball. Tried to send the dummy pass to Laura Hayes. Two players collide. The goalie player is on the ground. So we're going to have a hold up and play in a moment. Looks like it's Siobhan Gardner, the player that went down. So, a chance to catch our breath. Uh, Siobhan Gardner. Had her first appearance in Crow Park back in 2017. A dentist by trade. And she just took that collision there between the two. I think we start with an indirect cork free. So it's still all to play for here. 11 points to eight. We haven't got any further updates on Tipperary and Clare yet. But it was looking like Tipperary had the job done at halftime. Indeed, the latest score now is just coming into us. Tipperary 216, Clare 5 points. So Tipperary are going to Crow Park for a National Camogie League final for the first time in 15 years. And as things stand, it'll be Galway joining them. There has to be a four-point swing here to change the opponents. So Carrie Dolan, we can tell you, is back on her feet for Galway supporters. Following our coverage here on the Kabogi Association YouTube page in association with Entry. Looks like she'll be back in action shortly. Even Carl Murray, the Galway manager, is out giving instructions. As you can see there on your screen, Carrie Dolan being tended to by Neve Hannafy. Another Galway player back. He was planning to go travelling this year, but has put those plans on hold and is back helping out the Galway cause. 
It's a young Galway squad. But they're coming together nicely. Oh, Cork will still feel they are the team to beat when they get going at full throttle. So an indirect free this is going to be. Seven and a half minutes of normal time remaining. We're going to have a couple of changes. I think actually we're going to have a fourth substitution, are we? So we're going to see this in a moment. It looks like Siobhan Gardner's game is over. Carrie Dolan not ready to come back on. So go away with 14 players for a moment. So the referee wasn't ready for Saoirse McCarthy to restart the action. We're just keeping an eye out there to see does somebody from Galway come on. And that's the hold up because nobody from Galway has come on. And I think the referee wants to scam it anyway. So we just double check that, that we haven't missed anyone. Ball breaks for Anya Keane. The Galway number six. She has the ball. Neve Kilkenny tries to get a touch there. Fiona Keating there, the number 11 for Cork. Paperwork's been done, but still no change for Galway. But Carrie Dolan has put the helmet back on, so I think the official substitution will be Neve Kilkenny for Siobhan Gardner. So you just heard it there from the MC Christy Brown. Neve Kilkenny will be staying on the field to play for the remainder of the game. Fiona Keating. Out towards the left, Laura Hayes has tried to ask questions and attack. Hasn't got the answers yet. Anne-Marie Starr to Neve Kilkenny. Would you believe they're a midfield partnership in the 2011 All-Ireland Final in Croke Park against Wexford? Now they're on the field of play, trying to get Galway back to Croke Park. Laura Tracy wins it for Cork. Lee McPeak with the challenge on Izzy O'Regan. Ailish O'Reilly with the ball. Ailish O'Reilly to Kira Hickey. Kira Hickey pushes forward. Long ball in towards the attack for Amy O'Connor. They just need one of these to go right to Cork. Amy O'Connor with the shot. The ball has gone over the bar. They're staying in touch or Cork. Five minutes to go. Amy O'Connor with a score. Nine points to Cork. 11 to Galway. So we're waiting to restart the action. Fiona Ryan. Now one goal would change everything in this. Nee McPeak. She's worked hard for Galway in this game. But so is Aoife Healy for Cork. She gives the pass out. Just like the overhit for Saoirse McCarthy. Kira Hickey, another for Galway. Lots of good performances in this game. Stand out, hard to tell. We will be picking the player of the match after this game. The committee will make that decision. If you have any thoughts, send a comment into the Camogie Association YouTube page. Who you think should be the player of the match. Galway to restart the action. We're inside the final five minutes. Long ball down. Elish Riley was there. Need McPeak as well. 11 and 12 for Galway. It's won by Need McPeak. For Lee Mellows. Out to Orla McGrath who drives it on the ground hoping the sister Siobhan can get in this. Not to be. Caught out and again Cork playing that dangerous game in defence. Amy Lee to Ashin Thompson. Ashin Thompson sends it down the field. And this is Laura Hayes. Laura Hayes coming inside outside the 45 meter line of the player inside. If she get the pass wide, not to be yeah, just yet. Might work out yet for Cork. Go, we're getting bodies in there. Who's going to get the ball? Amy O'Connor has the ball. The referee says eventually she took too many steps. And it's going to be a free out for Galway. Who are getting ready to make a change. Sabina Rabbit is on the field of play. Sorry, there's a mix up there, the wrong number. Thanks a million hand for that, but Siobhan McGrath is gone off and it's Steve Nylands on the field of play. <laughs> Sabina Rabbit is wearing the number 25, or sorry, Steve Nyland is wearing the number 25 jersey. 
just if uh, anybody has a program. Eva Healy trying to clear us. Hey, Callan, did she touch it on the ground? I think she did. And it's going to be a free in for Galway. So, Carrie Dolan. Two minutes to go. Two points between the teams. The final round of the Ferry National Camogie League for 2024. Our Galway on course to take on Tipperary in the decider. We will see Carrie Dolan getting ready to take this. 20 metres out. Carrie Dolan with the shot. And Carrie Dolan puts the ball over the bar. 59 minutes gone. 12 points to Galway. 9 to Cork. Cork need two scores. You feel they're at need a goal stage now. And Cork have given away the ball. Well, they won't be happy with their own personal performance, Cork. They'll know they made an awful lot of unforced errors in this game. If it doesn't happen for them, Galway will feel there's a lot of improvement as well for themselves to make. Ball in towards the house. Here's Neve Nyland. Neve Nyland with the ball out on the left. Into the hands of Amy Lee. Neve Nyland is actually Galway's second highest scorer coming into this game in the league with eight points. Always good for a score. Galway win the ball back. Aoife Donahue. Aoife Donahue puts the ball over the bar in the final minute of the game. Set up by Anne-Marie Starr. And it's 13 points to 9 to Galway. And is that the score now that is going to put Galway into the National Camogie League final? Cork have to win this game. A draw is no good to them. 13 points to 9. It's going to be a free for Cork by the referee. Is the referee calling over Laura Hayes? Three added minutes minimum. And Cork must get 1-2 or 2 goals. 2 goals. So, Sabina. So this is definitely Sabina Rabbit that's coming on this time. So we watch the action here first. And it's going to be a free in for Cork. So we'll, uh, we'll wait for a few moments there. Now we're just having the consultation process here and there's uh, different nominations being, being uh, picked among the committee for player of the match. So uh, the, 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 the votes are taking place here so we'll, we'll have an announcement shortly on the player of the match as there's a hold up and play here. So we're getting ready for this free here. So, Serge McCartan, they're going to have to go low with this, you would feel. Cork need a goal. Two minutes of the three played. Goes low. Batted out there by the defender. We'll confirm the identity in a moment. I think it was Derva Higgins, but we'll double check that. Fiona Keating with the ball. And Reece involved in the move. Neve Kilkenny. Oh, 
Oh, Ali Heslin gave it back to Anya Kane. But now we're watching Aoife Healy. Aoife Healy with the ball down there, touched by Neve Kilkenny. Orla Callan getting away, but this is Aoife Donahue. Aoife Donahue with the ball. Pushing down the field, the referee blows the whistle. And it's going to be a free in. And we haven't that changed now. So this is uh, Sabina Rabbit coming on and also Ava Crow. But Galway making two changes in the closing stages. Nee McPeak is one of them and I think Derva Higgins is the other. So Galway making their late couple of changes. The three minutes have been played. And Galway are on the way to the National Camogie League final. Going for three in a row. Kerry Dolan will take this free. So, Carrie Dolan with the free. Well, she just nailed them, them today. Puts the ball over the bar. The 64th minute of the game. Five points between the teams. We'll watch the referee, but we can tell you now. And lots of contenders for player of the match in here as well. Indeed, the selection committee were undecided at times. Aoife Donahue was mentioned in Ailish O'Reilly in the attack. Lots of defenders' names were put in through there. But we can confirm now that the Ferry Camogie League player of the match of this game is Galway's Carrie Dolan. And we'll hear from Carrie Dolan at the end of the game, as well as the Galway manager, Cahill Murray. That is the official selection here from the very Kamogi League four minutes of injury time have been played can Cork do something here to change this in the closing stages as Saoirse McCarthy sends the ball across the field for Saoirse McCarthy Saoirse McCarthy outside the 45 metre line turns on the left sends the ball in towards the attack And Fiona Keating is there as well Cork do need to get a goal they probably need two of them Orla Callan can she create one of them it's just not happening for Cork as well and a lot of chances have gone a begging all eyes on the referee Barry Nee from County Westmead are we going to have another play as Fiona Ryan gets ready I think Alwyn Rabbit was getting ready to come on but they've changed their mind Fiona Ryan with the ball the referee blows the final whistle it's all over and Galway and Tipperary will play in this year's very National Camogie League final Galway win this game by 5 points 14 points to 9 managed to stretch their advantage despite being against the wind in the second half it was 10 points to 6 on the 3 quarterback as some scores and play finally started to come Aoife Donoghue Ailish O'Reilly and Orla McGrath all on target. Cork were guilty of missed opportunities. They're reflecting that over the course of the game, but they stayed in touch with Amy O'Connor and Aoife Healy on target. But the final three scores in this game came from Galway. One free for Donahue, two from Freeze for Carry Dolan, and Galway get the job done. Don't go away anywhere. We'll be going down to talk to the Galway player of the match and the Galway manager in just a moment. But the final score here in Duggan Park in Balanso in the Ferry National Kaboki League Division 1A round 5. It was Galway, 14 points. Cork. Nine.
Thank you very much and welcome back here in the Duggan Park and we're here first now with the very player of the match, Carrie Dolan and the going manager, Carl Murray. So we'll first get Carl to present the player of the match award to Carrie Dolan. So we just hold on to the two of you there for a moment. Carrie, first things first, congratulations back in a league final. But before I ask you about that, how's the head? Because you took a knock there. This is all right. It's not going to stop me from playing, so... <laughs> I can see that you're back on your feet first chance you got look it was a difficult day out there both teams very very tight all that it comes down to taking scoring opportunities and I think at the end of the day that was the difference between Galway and Cork uh, look I think so I think the, the breeze is going across the field there and they missed a couple of frees um, and I suppose we were a bit hesitant to shoot in the first half too but as you can see in the second half the girls popped up with some serious scores Orla, Aoife, Eilish unbelievable in the second half yeah it did open up an awful lot, uh, much more in the second half I should say first half I think it credited the defences as well they kept it very very tight made everybody earn anything they got uh, they did, they had an extra player back there in the first half, but Cork went and they shoved up in the second half and it gave us a bit more space, I suppose. After the defeat to Tipperary in round two, back in the league final, I know it was going to be up against it, a very, very tight league. We'll talk to Carl more about that in a moment. Going back to Grove Park. Well, yeah, I suppose it's a similar situation to last year. We got beaten by Tip, um, but I suppose this team you know, has great grit and great determination and look, we're, we're back in the same position as last year and we'll could be going to win another league final. And of course, you mentioned Tipperary, it'll be them, you'll be playing in the final there as well, a chance for revenge. I don't know about revenge, but look, they're, they're, a great, they're a great team, but I suppose we'll be looking to do ourselves a bit, a bit better than we did against them the last time out here. Well, Carrie, we're going to let you go. You are the very player of the match. Well done, Carrie Dolan, the player of the match here from this game. We'll have a couple of words with the goalie manager, Carl Murray. Uh, Carl, first things first, congratulations. Great character determination shown by your team again to squeeze yourselves. I uh, squeeze is the wrong term, actually, but to get yourselves back in the league final. Oh, yeah, listen, they've shown that in the last three games, to be honest with you, against Kilkenny, uh, certainly against Waterford in the second half, we were under really pressure against the against the Gale. And again, today, you know, that game had to be dug out. You know, it was a great result to get. But, um, you know, we really had to work hard for it, really had to dig it out. And, um, you know, you're talking there about scoring efficiency. I think we were 80% in the second half. You know, we really took our chances. We talked about that at half time. You know, that they, they needed to shoot. We were probably in, in situations in the first half and probably didn't take the chance to shoot. You know, but um, really happy with them. You know, it was a really tough game, and that's always going to be the way against Cork. They're, they're, they're brilliant, they're earned champions. And, um, you know, it's, it's good to get the win, and it's nice to win the league final. Yeah, it was a tough game, too. And, like, both teams will take out things to work on leading into for yourselves the league final and also for Cork going into the Monster Championship. But at the end of the day, it was just about getting in there, working hard. There were some flicks. Some turnover from both teams that ultimately leads to scores or scoring opportunities. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was about. Look, it was it was a hard day, it was a cross breeze, and it's always hard in Minnesota to score. But look, we're really happy to get 14 points on the board, and um, you know, really happy that you know we 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 took out in a lot of situations. You know, we're you know it's probably chasing us causes, but we got the touch in and we got the hook and we got the block, and that's what it's about in days like today. And um, look, we're really happy, but we, we know we're up against it with Tipperary, and that's that's not you know. We went down to the rag last year and got bet by nine points, and we went down again this year and got bet by three. And really, really lucky to get bet by only three because um, you know they got Roisin Howard sent off in the second half. So we're up against the Tipperary of the farm team, and um, it's going to be a massive battle in two weeks' time. But look, it's lovely to be there, and it's lovely to be in Crow Park. Word for Kerry there first. Uh, also, there were some days this campaign the freeze just didn't happen for her, whether it was weather or an off day. But there today, she nailed every important one. She did, and she nailed them last day as well. Like, and um, yeah, the first three, the first three games are probably a bit unlike her. But um, look at. You want Gary Dolan on your freeze on the big day, and um, she certainly set up to the place against Warford, and she certainly set up to the place again today, so it's really good. And your defence has been very, very settled. Barred the three goals conceded against Tipperary, they're coming together nicely. I know you have competition there as well, and as Carrie mentioned too, some of your leaders really stepped up in the second half. Aoife Dunhu and Ailish O'Reilly would come to mind. Ah, yeah, they're excellent. Two of them are excellent, and uh, yeah, our defence has done really well, but look at, we've been working more as a team. Um, you know, that's what we've worked on the last three or four, three or four matches, and um, it's worked out for us. And listen, look at, we're happy where we are at the moment, but it's still only the league. Um, you know, there's a long way to go to the championship, but um, look, at there's a trophy to be for in two weeks' time, and um, ourselves in Tipperary, and, and we'll want to try and come out on top, I'm sure they will as well. And it's, it's going to be um, a really, really tough battle. Two questions, Colin, and I'll let you go then. A young midfield partnership potentially building up there. Uh, and Reece Starr has really had a great league, and you brought on a number 33 to many goalie players now here today. Yeah, it's good to see good to see both of them back, to be honest with you. Um, you know, they're really good. Jason Starr was excellent. You know, she got her own field. She got it when you're talking about hooks and blocks and, and winning her ball, she won that herself in Ali, I thought. We're, we're excellent in midfield and uh, yeah it's great seeing you back in, in Galway jersey we really missed her last year and uh, you know she's been flying over the last couple of weeks so um, you know it's great to see her on the field and, um, and doing her bit
It was like she hadn't lost a touch. Finally, Colby Tipperary League Final. You've just mentioned a few bits there already, but you'll be looking forward. Tipperary, of course, they haven't been in League Final in uh, 15 years. Remember, they did beat us here a couple of years ago when COVID got in the way for them. They'll be motivated, no doubt, Galway will too. Yeah, they will, yeah. Look, I'm sure they're probably happy enough Galway here in the final, to be honest with you, because they do have that, that, that sign overs for the last few the last few matches, you know, the last few years. You know, they've been able to beat us, they know that. And um, look, at we, we weren't, you know, they were the better team by a long way down in, in the reg, and they were the team better team last year down the reg as well so we have a lot of improvement to do as well but as I said it's lovely to be in the league final you know it's it's good to be there we always target it and uh, look it's a massive challenge now but it's a, it's a great two weeks to looking forward to well, Carl, congratulations on the result in getting there thanks a million that was the Galway manager Colin Murray talking to us and beforehand you heard from the player of the match Carrie Dolan from Galway who was their top scorer and that is it for the round robin stage of the Ferry National Camogie Leagues check out official Camogie Twitter Facebook and the Camogie.ie website for all the results there but Tipperary well clear last we heard of that game against Clare it'll be dim against Galway in this year's final for Cork they will regroup for the Munster Championship they are All-Ireland champions and they won't go down go down without a fight they'll be back determined to hold on to the O'Duffy Cup later in the year and we'll be back later in the year with the Glendimplex All-Ireland Championship in association with Entry but don't forget we'll have other games coming up in the meantime but here today in Duggan Park Banasso we hope you enjoyed our coverage our thanks to Luke and Owen working on behalf of Entry I was Darren Kelly Galway get the job done they win this game by five points and they qualify for the National Camogie League final. The final score here in Duggan Park Banlaslow. It finished Galway 14 points, Cork 9.